Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a way to edit that is faster than the double edit keybind that you see people like Raider using. Uh, so normally when you edit, as you all know, you press your edit key, you click on the thing, and you press your edit key again to confirm it. Uh, and the double edit, you obviously just use two different keys to begin and end the edit. But this new way, you can press the edit key, click on it, and then as soon as you release your finger from your click, it'll automatically press your confirm button for you. So that's going to be faster than double editing because it's one millisecond after you release, which is faster than a human can do. So if you practice with this, it's going to be a lot faster. Uh, oh yeah, and you have to have a Logitech or Corsair mouse to do this. I don't know about any other mice. These are just the mice I have. And this is what I've tried it on. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, so first I'm going to show you how to do it in the Logitech software. Uh, and this is the new G-Hub software. I have a G403. If you click on this and then click assignments and macros and then you might have to switch it to Fortnite up here. Um, you can assign this to your primary click or your secondary click, right or left click, but I don't know if you would want to assign it to this click because it, like when you're trying to shoot or something, it might accidentally put you into edit mode and that would be kind of annoying. And also on the Corsair software, it doesn't even allow you to bind macros to left click. So you might it might just be better to learn to edit with right click, which wouldn't be too bad uh, to learn, but so you're gonna create a new macro. You're gonna go up here. You're gonna uncheck this. You don't want this when you make it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click sequence and you're not gonna put anything on press and then you're just gonna copy this and then you can save it. And if you're wondering, you should do this first and then you're gonna, ha this is gonna pop up up here too and you're gonna delete it. And then uh, you just want the press down while holding and then uh, you want this sequence on release of the button and you're going to save it. I already saved it. So then you can take it from here, drag it to whichever one you want to bind it to. You could even bind it to one of these or DPI. It doesn't really matter whatever you want to edit with or whatever you want to select your edit with. And also uh, I forgot to mention this, the F key is whatever your edit key is, which should be pretty obvious. And you save that and you should be good to go. It worked for me. Uh, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it in the Corsair software. I have a Corsair Glaive. I do not recommend this mouse. It is very heavy. The buttons are horrible. The scroll wheel is horrible. The side buttons are especially horrible. It weighs more than a G502. It, it's just not a good mouse. The grip is not good. I don't know. I don't like it at all. But if you have a Corsair mouse, you can you can still do this. Uh, you, yeah, like I said earlier, you can only bind it to right click for Corsair. It doesn't allow you to grayed out right here. I don't know why, but they don't want you binding anything to left click. So you're gonna create a new macro. You're gonna go to advanced settings. You're gonna press on release, no repeat, and retain original key output. This is important. You have to have this checked. And then you're gonna just have uh, this selected and it's gonna look like this. And F is whatever your edit key is, obviously. And yeah, you save that. And now when you edit, it should just automatically confirm your edit as soon as you release. Uh, I just did this, so I'm not gonna have any like clips of me doing any fast edits with it because I haven't practiced with it or anything. But I'm sure you can do this yourself and get some clips of editing very fast with it. But yeah, I'm using right click to edit now instead of left click, which does feel kind of weird, but I mean it works. And also, uh, you can keep scroll wheel uh, reset, obviously, when you're uh, doing this way, unlike the double edit keybind unless you create a macro for that too. Oh yeah, and one more thing, I'm pretty sure this is not allowed uh, for like competitions and shit. So, 
like do this at your own risk you might get banned or something but i don't know how epic could find out that you were doing this but i would not do it in a competition but yeah feels pretty good